At this point we're going to go ahead and open up the rest of the bags for our diff and take a look at the parts that are that are in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up the outdrive bag and take a look at the outdrives and they are all in, in good shape and again I'm going to recommend that you use the turtle outdrives if you're going to be running anything more than a stock engine and you can take a look at the uh, previous tutorial for their outdrives and it will show you you know why we prefer to use those with the retaining ring on them so that uh, we don't chip off. We're going to go ahead and open up um, our next bag and included in the next bag are lots of little pieces and parts and o-rings and washers and pins and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and open up this bag and we're going to make sure and be very careful that we do get all of the pieces out of the bag and nothing is left inside because there are some very small little rubber gaskets in here that do like to stick to the bag after you empty them out. So let's be real careful about this and uh, empty out all the, the pieces and parts. Make sure our bags are empty. And I'm going to spread these out and kind of group the, the parts together. Um, there's two viscous washers and then there's uh, four gear cage washers. And there should be two pins. And there should be two very small rubber washers. And there should be four lock washers. Let's go ahead and make sure those are all there because without any of those pieces, you're not going to be able to properly build your diff. Let's go ahead and open up the next bag that has our, our case gasket in it as well as some screws and cross pins. Let's go ahead and open this up empty it out in our tray and do a little bit of inventory here we have our case gasket which we'll go ahead and set over to the side and then we should have our four case bolts which we do we should have two case plugs which these are the little plugs we should have two of the set or the short, excuse me, the shorter screws, which are a set screw. We should have two cross pins, and these are the cross pins with notches in them. Then we should also have two rubber gaskets, which go on the the bearings. The next package we're going to open up has some gears and bearings included. Let's go ahead and open up this bag do a little bit of inventory again. I'm going to dump this out on my table since we're getting a little bit uh, crowded in the bucket here. I'm also at this point going to grab my Team Fast Eddy bearing kit that we've been using all along because we definitely want to use the Team Fast Eddy bearings inside the diff and then there's also a few bushings that we're going to want to replace with the Team Fast Eddy bearings. So let's go ahead and open this up and we're going to see that we have the two largest bearings in the kit. Those are these units right here. We're going to go ahead and remove the Team Fast Eddy bearings and put them in our parts tray. And we're going to put the HPI bearings back into the box in case we ever need them. We are also going to need Boy, oh boy, you know, I'm opening up this bag and there seems to be several missing parts in here. But uh, let's just keep taking inventory here. Oh, there they are. Nothing's missing. We have um, our two diff bearings that go on the inside of the diff case, or actually on the outside of the diff case. And we're going to go ahead and exchange those with the same size bearings from the Team Fast Eddy kit that are the red ones. Let's go ahead and put those into our parts bucket. Put the HPI bearings into our Team Fast Eddy kit in case we need them. Also included are two brass bushings which are going to go on the inside of the diff. And if you are using the Team Fast Eddy Pro Series bearing kit, we are going to highly recommend that you do 
exchange these for bearings and those are also included in the as an upgraded bearing in the Team Fast Eddy Pro Series kit. So we're going to go ahead and put the bearings into our bucket and we're going to put the bushings back into the Team Fast Eddy kit. We should also at this point have two large gears which look like this and then we should also have four smaller gears which are our all identical that look like this. Let's go ahead and put all of that into our parts bucket and we're gonna get ready here to uh, start building our diff. 